lesson 6 in grade 12 calculus and we are continuing with differentiation and in this video we are going to learn how to differentiate complex expressions let us start with fx is equal to x cubed minus 4x squared plus 6x minus 11 it is quite simple we are going to apply the rule that we learned in lesson 4 to each term individually so for the first term, when I differentiate, it becomes 3x squared. The second term is minus 4 times 2, x to the power of 2 minus 1, which becomes 1. 6 times 1 in the exponent, and I subtract 1 from the exponent, minus 11, because there is no variable. So I have 3x squared minus 8x plus 6. So I simply apply the rule of differentiation which we have learned before to every term individually. In our second example we have y is equal to 2x minus 5 squared. Before we can differentiate we need to expand. So 2x minus 5 squared becomes 4x squared minus 20x plus 25. Now that I've expanded y, I can find dy dx. And I apply the rule to every term individually. So it's 4 times 2, which becomes 8, x to the power of 2 minus 1, minus 20 times 1, x to the power of 1 minus 1, plus 0 because there are no variables. And then the derivative simplified is 8x minus 20. With some practice you'll be able to do this step directly. Now we want to find the derivative of x in the following expression. x times x minus 1 times 3x minus 2. Before we can apply the rule of differentiation, we need to multiply out. So x minus 1 times 3x minus 2 would become 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. And then I multiply x into the bracket, so it become 3x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x. And now that I have simplified the expression, I can apply the rule of differentiation to every term individually. So 3 times the exponent of 3 and in the exponent 3 minus 1. 5 multiply of 2 which becomes 10 and in the exponent 2 minus 1. And 2 multiplied with 1 it stays 2 and the exponent is 1 minus 1. Therefore my final differentiation is 9x squared minus 10x plus 2. In this example, we have a fraction. Notice we have x squared minus 5x minus 6 over one term in the denominator, 2x squared. And because there is one term in the denominator, I can split up the fraction into three terms. So I have x squared over 2x squared minus 5x over 2x squared minus 6 over 2x squared. Then I can simplify each term individually. So I have a half minus 5x minus 3x squared. In the previous lesson we learned before we can differentiate we need to rewrite the fraction with x in the denominator. The first term would stay a half because there is no x anywhere. The second term would become negative 5 x to the power of negative 1. And the third term, negative 3 x to the power of negative 2. Now I can apply the differentiation rule. So differentiating a half, it will become 0 negative 5 x to the power of negative 1 is negative 5 times negative 1 which will become 
positive 5, x to the power of negative 1 minus 1, and negative 3 times negative 2 would become positive 6, x to the power of negative 2 minus 1. Notice the sign changes from negative to positive because I'm multiplying negative coefficients with negative exponents. If I simplify, I have 5x to the power of negative 2 plus 6x to the power of negative 3. And in the previous lesson, we said that it is good practice to rewrite the negative exponents as positive exponents. In our final example, we have fx is equals to 2x cubed plus 2x squared minus 24x over 3 minus x. Now, we cannot split up the fraction because we have two terms in the denominator. So I would need to factorize. Notice I'm not differentiating. I'm just working with the original equation of fx. So in the numerator, I have a common term of 2x. So I take out 2x as the common term times x squared plus x minus 12. Now I'm going to differentiate the trinomial of x squared plus x minus 12, which will become x plus 4 times x minus 3. Notice I'm rewriting the denominator by taking out a negative 1 commonly. So it's negative and in brackets x minus 3 which will allow the x minus 3 brackets to cancel out and I'm left with negative 2x times x plus 4. And in order to differentiate I need to remove the brackets. So I have negative 2x squared minus 8x. And now I can differentiate each term individually. So my final answer would be negative 4x minus 8.